All right, so you're bored in Subnautica, you don't know what to do because there's so much stuff that the game can offer, but you don't know where to start. And you're just simply sitting there bored, scratching your head, trying to figure out what you want to do. So in this video, I'm going to show you three different things that you can do whenever you're bored in Subnautica that'll take up, you know, a pretty, pretty good amount of your time and keep you from getting bored. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing that you can do in Subnautica whenever you're bored is build a giant reaper cage around the Aurora, or at least the back of the Aurora, which <laughs> sounds like a pretty insane idea on its own. But you know, we're looking for insane ideas when we're trying to make ourselves not bored how you would go about this is you know you would just use the eye compartments mainly to build a giant cage around the rear end of the aurora so right here so we already all of us probably know that there's a reaper leviathan right here i think there's two more so there's the total of three reaper leviathans right in this back area of the aurora so what you're going to do is you're going to build basically a big old cage that stretches all the way like straight this way and then you're going to make it go to the right like so and then you're just gonna go straight and then boom just like that you're gonna have a giant cage built around the rear of the aurora which is going to have three reapers just you know like sort of in their own little pen just swimming around over there and you can i don't know maybe you can look at them study them do whatever you want with the reapers but you know you'll have three reapers essentially captured near the back of the aurora because i don't think i mean the creatures can despawn i think but they can't like teleport out of the area that they've spawned in so like the reapers that you capture in this little in this giant cage that you'll have built they'll stay in this little spot right here which is pretty nice you know you could say that you've captured three reapers successfully what we're trying to do is you know keep you from getting bored now doing something like this can be done in either creative or you can do it in survival if you want if you want even more of a challenge you can do it in survival but if you want to do it in creative that's fine too either or works this is one of those things that's going to take you a really really long time to build and it's also going to have the added challenge of having to build around the reapers that are going to be constantly in the bottom with you because you know you have to pay attention to them make sure they don't sneak up on you while you're building, you know, essentially their cage that you're gonna lock them in for the rest of their days. So it's a nice little, nice little time consuming task that you can do. There's also a few, a few other ways you can get creative with this. Like you don't have to build just like a giant wall. You can build a big old wall and maybe you can have like a little base next to it, connect the base to it, etc. You know, there's a bunch of ways you can go about doing this. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Yep, <laughs> the beginnings of the cage is already started. Look at him, look at him, he can't even get through. Hey, well, I guess he can go around, but you know, that he tried. But yeah, building a giant Reaper Leviathan cage around the back of the Aurora is going to be the first thing that you can do whenever you're bored in some Nautica. Bit of a crazier idea, but you know, it'll keep you from being bored and it's gonna start us off on today's list. And with that, we can head on to the next thing that you can do whenever you're bored in some Nautica. All right, moving on to our next thing that you can do whenever you're bored in some Nautica. Just ignore the, uh, ignore the giant snake swimming around over here the next thing you can do whenever you're born in Subnautica is build a base in the lost river but you're going to do it a little bit differently because you're not going to be so you're going to restrict yourself you have to build your base strictly underneath the fog or in the fog or sitting right above it now you can do this in the regular lost river like with the green fog because the green fog damages you whenever you go into it so there's that or you can do it in the tree cove fog which is the blue fog next to the tree cove but that fog doesn't damage you but if you do it in the green fog, it's going to give you a bit more of a challenge. So if you, if that's your thing, then, you know, you're definitely going to want to go for that. And there's also a lot more room to work with here as well. Heading underneath the fog, you're mainly going to use the eye compartments. And in some spots, like a little bit deeper, you can build the multi-purpose room. It's going to be a little bit hard though, because the area underneath the fog is a bit of a tighter area, but it is, you know, it has a nice little atmosphere. Now this is another time consuming uh, base building task that you can do, maybe even more so than the last one, because with this one, you're going to be extremely restricted with how you can build your well, not extremely restricted, but you're going to have to get a little more creative when it comes to building your base because you're essentially going to be building your base through a bunch of tunnels and caverns and all types of stuff of that nature. You know, also also pretty unique as well because this is something you can only find and do in the Lost River biome. How you would probably go about this is you would probably bring a prawn suit you know, like load it up with a bunch of stuff in the storage. And then you would take that prawn suit underneath because the prawn suit can sort of, you know, withstand some of the damage that you take while you're in the fog and whatnot. Just at least until you get enough stuff, get enough compartments down to where you can actually build from the inside of the base instead of having to do it from the outside. But yeah, building underneath the fog of the Lost River is the next thing that you can do whenever you're bored in Subnautica. It'll make you use your brain a lot more because, you know, you'll have to actually think about how you're going to build a base through the tunnels and caverns of the Lost River. That's the second 
favorite thing that you can do whenever you're bored that I was able to think of. And with that, we get to head on to our third and last thing on today's list. And for the third and final thing that you can do in Subnautica whenever you're bored is you can essentially become a photographer and go around the map and take a picture of, I was gonna say, take a picture of every single biome, like specifically, but you can take a picture of essentially whatever you want. Maybe you can go on the map. Oh, I don't know what I just said. Maybe you can go around the map and take a picture of every single Leviathan or take a picture of every single, you know, biome, like I said before, and put all those pictures in like a nice little collection in your base. So I took a picture of a few things. And as we can see, I have my nice little collection of pictures right here. Now, the good thing about this is the pictures in Subnautica are actually like good quality because I know in some games, whatever you take screenshots and like put them on something, sometimes pictures will be like a little lower resolution. But when you look at these pictures, they're actually in, okay, there we go, it focused up. They retain a good amount of uh, like picture quality so they actually don't look like garbage they actually look good on the walls and stuff and subnautica has some pretty pretty beautiful looking spots if i'm being completely honest like the tree cove was one of them that's why i took a picture of that but there's a whole bunch of other spots in the game that just look downright amazing you can take a picture of the aurora maybe have like a good little angle on the aurora and screenshot that you got the islands you can take a picture of i mean there's a, a million different areas in this game that are pretty screenshot and background worthy i would say and they would make a pretty awesome addition to your base so it'll be a super time consuming task because it'll require you to go around like the entire map you know whatever you plan on taking a picture of if you, if you plan on taking a picture of a bunch of creatures maybe you can get one creature and do a bunch of different angles on that specific creature all the aggressive creatures all the passive creatures i mean there's a bunch of different things you can do so it'll give you some nice little um like base decoration and it'll also allow you to go around the map and explore everything which will take up a lot of your time which is exactly what you want whenever you're bored and stuff but yeah those are three little things that you can do whenever you're bored in subnautica just you know pass the time while you try to figure out what else you want to do in the game or if there's anything else you want to do in the game you know because maybe Maybe you just want something to do after you've beaten the game, or maybe you're just like stuck or whatever. Either way, those are three different things that you can do whenever you're bored. That'll take up a good amount of your time and keep you, you know, somewhat entertained as well. If you thought of anything different to do whenever you're bored in Subnautica and, you know, you want to share, just feel free to let us know in the comments so we can all, you know, because we all benefit from that. But uh, yeah, other than that, that is about all I have for y'all. Thank y'all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.